Hey Lee, my name is Paul. I'm with East Wind SEO and I have partnered up with Royal Elevation to bring you this video showing you some tips on how to improve your online presence. You spoke with Nathan earlier about this video and I'm going to go over content citations and backlinks. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. I have your website pulled up right here. Um, you know, great looking website, uh, really nice pictures. You have, looks like you're clicked call down here and up here as well. Keep in mind, this is on a mobile device. I'm on a tablet, so I always like to test to see how well their mobile, uh, your mobile, you know, um, sites are. Um, and it looks, you know, very well, uh, put together. Nothing seems to be acting weird sometimes things don't fit right but this looks really really well put together um you know it's a nice looking website uh, i will say um there is lacking in a bit of content but that's about it um you know content is important because you know google is going to crawl your website they're going to go through all of your content you know and they're going to be looking at for things about your business. Now, this is where you're going to put in keywords. Um, so a keyword is going to be anything that somebody puts into Google as they search for a product or a service, right? So when they crawl your website, they're going to find these keywords. Um, that's going to tell them a lot about your business. You know, what it is you do, uh, you know, the, the areas you serve, the services you offer, so on and so forth. Things like that, right? Um, it's going to uh, tell them that, you know, you are in fact a professional in your area of service and it's going to help them determine where they are going to place you within the Google search results, right? Also, it's going to help you guys be more relevant for searches as people um, search for those keywords. You guys are going to show up more often for those keywords that are within your content. Uh, another thing I notice as we scroll down here, you do have the, the areas that you serve um, it would be really good if they were their own separate pages for maybe some of each of these places. You have a location page, therefore you can focus on putting keywords that are specific to those areas. So that could help your those you know separate service location pages show up as people search those areas on their own. Just another uh tip there. So if we're gonna move on from this into a Google search. And before we do, I would say we always do recommend at least 1500 words of content on your homepage. That gives you plenty of room to put in those buyer intent keywords. Uh, so let's go ahead and jump into a Google search real quick. Um, so this is a Google search. Uh, HVAC Wake Forest obviously would be an example of a keyword, right? So the first thing you're going to see that shows up here are ads. Um, so ads are a great way to gain clients. Um, because it allows you to put your allows you to get your um, business in front of people that are more likely to go with your services because you can uh, target specific audiences. So you can definitely see, you know, some really good value from you know a well placed ad campaign. Moving on down from that, we have the Google Map Pack. This is going to be the top three. Um, and this is definitely a place that you want to be in. You know, you, these guys see a good chunk of business come through um, these searches just from being in this top three. So that's going to have to, to do with your Google business profile. You want to have that filled out as much and as accurately as possible with all of your business information. And what we're going after here are citations. So basically, you want to have more citations than your competitors are showing up in this top three. So you want to have all that filled out you want to have your google business profile you know optimize all that and you want to have it into as many online directories as possible so that's going to be anything like yelp or yellow pages uh angie's list you know there are hundreds and hundreds of directories that you can get your business name into that you get citations from so moving on down from that we have the organic search results um you know obviously another place that you definitely want to be at the top of um so that has a lot to do with how your website's set up, you know, not only your content and, you know, how affected it is in the delivery, but also, um, you know, with your backlinks and everything else involved. There are a lot of variables at play in that. Um, so we're going to take a look at that right now. I use a tool called Ahrefs. Um, 
and that basically tells me how you know a website is performing i look at it i'll run it through here uh it tells me how it's performing it tells me what i would need to do if I, basically i want to have more uh, maybe interactions from people you get more traffic flowing to my website what i might have to do in order to overtake a competitor you know in the search results stuff like that uh, it's a very useful tool um, so I went ahead and I ran you guys through it. Uh, we're going to focus up here at this section. This UR and DR, a DR are two very important numbers you want to pay attention to. Uh, the UR being a trust rating or how trustworthy your website is according to Google. The DR being a power rating. Um, these two numbers, you generally want to keep them within close ratio to each other while trying to move them up as high as possible, right? Um, your, your UR looks like it's getting up. It's pretty good. You definitely want to catch up on your DR. Um you know, a couple of ways to do that is with your backlinks, you know, make sure you're getting good, powerful referring domains, giving you some quality backlinks. You want those referring domains to push that power through those backlinks back to your website. And that's going to bump up these numbers and it's going to help you guys, you know, uh, within the search results. You don't want random spammy backlinks. Um, and, you know, so a backlink is going to be anything linking back to your website from an outside source, whether that be another website, maybe a comment blog. But the goal here is to have quality backlinks. So you want those referring domains that are linking back to you, um, you know, within your service industry. You don't want random websites linking back to you because that will come across as spammy. You'll get flagged by Google. You know, it will affect your numbers. Um, it could affect your ranking abilities as well. So remember to keep those quality backlinks coming back to you guys. Um, so, you know, as we can see here, you are being found for 68 organic keywords. Um, and you're getting a little bit of traffic. Um, you know, you have 546 backlinks. If we take a look at this, um, the other site that was sitting number one up there in the search results, we can see that UR and DR are not showing any data right now. That could be a number of reasons. Um it doesn't necessarily mean that, you know, it's not there. Um, they do have two backlinks with two referring domains and, you know, they're being found for some keywords and they're getting some good traffic. That could be, you know, the, that they're, how their site's set up. It could be, um, you know, the amount of, uh, keywords that they're being shown for within their content. This is why I stress the importance of having that content on your homepage you know, because it allows you to show up in more searches as you're being found for more of those keywords. So if we go back and look at you guys uh, real quick, you can see that you have 546 backlinks. Now, that doesn't necessarily mean that it's better. You know, their quality is, you know, the name of the game over quantity here. Um, so we would definitely want to go through those backlinks and see, you know, maybe you have some spammy backlinks coming through you or through back to you and might try and get rid of those. Um, we could go through our competitors backlink profile as well to see what backlinks are working for them that maybe you do not have. Um, and we can go out and get those. And same thing with keywords. We can go through and see what keywords that are being found for. You know, maybe they're using some keywords that you didn't see out there um, and they have them within their content. We could always adjust to create a better traffic flow, right? Because that's the name of the game here. We were trying to get more traffic to your website through uh, your online presence. Uh, so with that being said, those are my three tips for you. Um, you know, you could definitely implement these tips yourself um, or you can always reach out to us as well i will leave you our contact information in the email i send out to you um, you know and we just want to say thanks for checking this video out we really do appreciate you guys taking the time to look at it and have yourself a wonderful rest of your evening